Hi there and welcome to another grade 6 extra project tutorial. Today we're going to make the rooster recipe card holder, or as I like to call it, the message chicken. The first thing you're going to do, following along with the instructions in the grade 6 extra project booklet, is get a piece of 1x4 pine and choose one of the body tracing samples. There's a few different shapes, they're all slightly different. You just pick whichever one you like the most. And you are going to place that on your piece of pine and trace around it with a nice dark line that is easily seen. Like that. Then, cut the shape out on the scroll saw. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to file and sand all the edges, all the curved edges here, here, and here. Do not sand or file this edge or this edge as we need those for later. We're going to start with a file. If you use a half moon file you have a flat side on one side and a curved on the other and so you can use the flat in the flat places and the curved in the curved places to roll those edges over. So just put it in a vise and start like this. Rolling the file back and forth around the edge. Until you have it nice and rounded, then you're going to switch to the sandpaper. And then finer sandpaper. to do it until it's nice and rounded and nice and smooth and do it on all the edges. The next step, once it's all nice and sanded, is to drill a small pilot hole in the bottom. This is the bottom right here. Uh, mark it roughly in the middle and place your project in a vise. Then, using the drill, the small 8 inch bit, just drill it straight down about half the depth of the drill bit. Like this. And that's it. This will be used to assemble it later on once we have the rest of our pieces. Next, you're going to trace the rooster comb on one of the small pieces of wood and then go and cut that out on the scroll saw and sand it as well. And go and cut it out. Once you've done that, Put that piece aside for later and return the template to the template box. And do the same for the wings. Trace, cut, and sand. 
The only trick with the wings is that you're making two and some of these pieces of wood that we use, mahogany door skin, are slightly different colors on one side to the other. So what you need to do to ensure that your wings look the same is to cut a mirror image. So trace one and then flip the wing and trace the second, like this. Then flip the wing. And go cut them out. Cut and sanded mirror image wings. Now hold on to those for later and we're going to move on to making the base. For the base you can really do what you want. Uh, you can choose a piece of wood. We have usually fir or pine to choose from, which are slightly different colors. Uh, the first thing, however, is to drill a hole through the middle of the base for the screw that's going to connect everything together. We're going to use our handy corner-to-corner -corner ruler method. Line the ruler up diagonally, but don't trace all the way across. Just do a little mark in the middle. And then the other two corners. Oops. Where those two lines meet, that's the middle of the piece of wood. Now we're going to use that same drill to drill a hole all the way through. Put the piece in a vise. And drill it through. Just like that. Then you can choose how you want to shape your base. Look at some of the ideas in the instruction book. You can bevel your corners, bevel your edges, round your corners, or you can just make random shapes. Whatever you choose, you're either going to use the sander, the scroll saw, or a combination of both. And just make sure that it's all nice and nicely sanded when you're done, and then you're moving on. I just chose to bevel my edges slightly using the belt sander. If you need help with that, just ask Mr. G. You now have all your pieces made and you're ready for assembly. The first step is to grab a red-handled Robertson screwdriver from the tool rack, as well as a one and a half inch Robertson screw. We're going to screw the chicken body into the base. Take the base and place it upside down in a vise. My beveled edge is on top, so I'm flipping it upside down. Screw the screw up through the bottom until you can just feel the point coming out the other side. This will help to locate your chicken body in the right place. Now place the chicken body upside down in the vise. A small dab of glue. And then put the point of the screw right into the hole. and screw it together. Take it out and make sure it's straight. If not, just twist it slightly until it's straight. Next is attaching the wings. A little dab of glue on each wing. Mm -hmm. 
Make sure you do them both on the same side so that you have the, the color that you want showing. And place them however you'd like, really. The orientation that you feel looks the best. One on one side. And try to match the other side in the same place. Then use a spring clamp to hold them in place while the glue dries. The final step is to attach the comb and close peg mouth. Show your finished chicken body to Mr. G and if he says everything's okay, he will give you a clothes peg in order so you can finish it off. A small dab of glue here. And here. And then line up the clothes peg so that it looks like a chicken's beak. And then put it in your cubby to dry. And once everything is dry, feel free to decorate as you like with the wood burners. Great, you're all done. Good job.